Hello Tamers and welcome to my first gameplay series featuring the brand new cards just released in the third booster of the Digimon card game, Union Impact. As you guys can see, our first 4 player tournament is going to be something like a 0-2 showdown featuring Jogress or DNA Evolution decks based on the main characters of 0-2, Peldramon, Shakumon and Sylphimon as well as a purple Malo Miotismon deck starring the main villain. Now with that, let's determine the tournament matchups, I'm just gonna shuffle this pile of the four decks here. And in the first round, we are gonna have Peldramon versus Sylphimon, which means our second match is gonna be Shakumon clashing against Malo Miotismon. This is a pretty interesting matchup that we'd probably never expect to see in the anime. Now let's see who goes first. And Sylphimon's going first. Okay, security setup, Digimon standby, let's open the digital gate. Raising phase, a Digitama is hatched, Poromon. And in the main phase, Salamon from the brand new booster is placed for 3 cost. 1, 2, 3, turn over and draw. In the raising phase, Digitama is hatched, Demi Vimon. In main, it evolves into, of course, the brand new version of Vimon at 0 cost with jamming. One draw, and now Wormon will be placed for three cost. One, two, three, and then evolved into Stingmon for one cost. One, one draw, and turn over. Active and draw. In the raising phase, nothing can be done to Poromon. In the main, the tamer TK is played for four cost. I'm sure you guys are used to TK's ability by now, and Magna Dramon is added to the hand. One, two, three, four, turn over. Active and draw. In the raising phase, Vimon is moved out onto the field, and being as energetic as it is, it goes for the attack. Of course, it has jamming, so it won't be destroyed by battle with the opponent's security Digimon. Also, because of Demi Vimon, when attacking once per turn, if this Digimon is jamming, draw one card. So, one draw. Security check on Sylphimon's side, and it is! The Tamer TK, which is now placed without paying the cost, and once again, its effect activates. So it looks like a second Kari was added to security previously, one of them will be added to the hand. Next, Stingmon will DNA Digivolve into Peldramon's Parallel. Dino Beamon for 3 cost, possessing both Piercing and Jamming. One draw, and since it has Jamming, it goes for the attack. Security check. Oh, and it is the security card, Terra Force. Activate this card's main to destroy one of your opponent's Digimon. And of course, the target is Dino Beamon, which is now raised from existence. To end things off, Peldramon plays the blue tamer, Davis Motomiya. When played, you can reveal the top three cards of your deck and add one blue and one green Digimon from among them to the hand. So revealing the top three cards, we have Wormon, Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode and Positron Laser and Option Card. So of course in this case, both Wormon and Imperial Dramon are added to the hand while Positron Laser is returned to the bottom of the deck. Paying 4 cost, turn over. Active and draw. Nothing can be done in raising, moving into main. Salamon evolves into Gatomon at 2 cost, 1-2, one, 1 draw. And now Gatomon chooses to attack. Vimon. Salomon does have an inheritable effect where when attacking, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 1000 DP, but that's not too important in this case. Gatomon has 3000 DP, while Vimon only has 2000, so Vimon is sent to the trash. And now, paying 11 cost, Magna Dramon is played directly from the hand. When played, if your security is 3 or less, recovery plus 2 from the deck. So now, Sylphimon restores all the damage they've taken so far from Peldramon's ferocious attacks. But that is of course at the heavy cost of 11, right now the memory is at 2, so it moves to 9 on Peldramon's side, turn over. Active in draw, in the raising phase a Digitama is hatched, and it is of course Demi Vimon. Moving into main, it evolves into Vimon, the non-jamming version, for 0 cost, 1 draw. It then evolves into X Vimon for 2 cost. 1, 2, and 1 draw. Now it plays Frigimon, a champion level Digimon with jamming for 4 cost directly from the hand. Memory moves down to 3, and then they play the Rookie Vimon with jamming at 3 cost. 1, 2, 3, and finally another copy of Frigimon at 4 cost. And with that, they have lined up 3 Digimon with jamming. Turnover. Active and draw. In the raising phase, 
Once again, Sylphimon can't do anything about Poyumon. Moving into main, Sorigatumon should go active. First, Magnadramon attacks. When attacking, you may play one level 3 yellow Digimon from your hand at no cost, but the player chooses not to use it. Security check, Stingmon with only 5,000 DP sent to the trash. And now, at 3 cost, Gatomon will DNA Digivolve into Sylphimon, a red Digimon that can evolve from yellow at 3 cost. 1, 2, 3, 1 draw. When Digivolved into, Sylphimon allows you to change one of your opponent's level 4 or lower Digimon's base DP to 1000 until the end of the turn, and the target is the lower Frigimon. Now, Sylphimon at sex. This activates both Salamon and Gatosmon inheritable effects, which are the same when attacking one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 1000 DP for the turn. So these effects are applied to the bottom Frigimon, which currently only has 1000 DP. Its DP becomes zero and it is destroyed. The remaining minus 1000 is just sent to Vmon, but unfortunately, since Vmon is 2000, that's not enough to beat it. Security check. Oh, but it's Positron Laser. Security effect. Up to two of your opponent's Digimon can't attack for the turn. Unfortunately, there are no more applicable targets. However, then, if you have a blue Digimon in play, return one of your opponent's rested or suspended Digimon to its owner's hand and trash all of their Digivolution cards. So this is a bit of a tough choice. Right now, although Magna Dramon has more DP, Sylphimon has more power to basically wreak havoc on Peldramon's field because of the consecutive minus DPs from Gatomon and Salamon. So the target chosen is Sylphimon returned to the hand, evolution sources are trashed, and the security effect resolves. To end things off, Aquilamon is played for 6 costs. The memory from 1 moves to 5, turnover. Active in draw, in the raising phase, XVmon is moved out onto the field. First, the rookie Vmon attacks with its jamming. Security check. Sylphimon with 7000 DP, but Vmon survives. Now, Frigimon attacks with jamming as well. Second check. Bergamon with only 4000 DP. Since it's jamming, no problem. Next, XVmon evolves into Dino Beamon, switching colors through a cross evolution. 1, 2, 3, 1 draw. And of course, since Dino Beamon has jamming as well, it attacks. Demi Vmon's ability when attacking once per turn since Dino Beamon has jamming. One draw. Security check. And it is Valkyrimon with 9000 DP, but thanks to jamming, Dino Beamon survives. And now, Dino Beamon will unleash its ultimate evolution, evolving into Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode. Dragon Mode normally has an evolution cost of 5, but when you digivolve it from a Peldramon or Dino Beamon, the cost is reduced by 2, making it only 1, 2, 3 cost, and 1 draw. When digivolved into, all of your Digimon with jamming become active, and of course, Imperial Dramon himself has jamming, so all the Digimon currently on Peldramon's field are untapped. This also triggers Vmon's inheritable effect. Once per turn during your turn, if this Digimon becomes active during the main phase, one draw. With that, the memory has crossed over to the other side, but there are no vulnerable Digimon on Peldramon's field. Turn over, memory moves up to three, active, and draw. In the raising phase, unfortunately, Poromon is still stuck down here. Moving into main, Magna Dramon goes for the first attack with 10,000 DP. Security check. Vmon, only 2,000, destroyed. Aquilamon chooses to go for the attack as well, with 5,000 DP, security check. Unfortunately, at this moment, Peldramon makes his appearance with 7,000 DP, and Aquilamon is wiped off the field. Now, paying 11 cost, another copy of Magnadramon is played from the hand. Memory is currently at 3, so it will move up to 8. Again, when played, if your security is 3 or less, recovery plus 2. So Sylphimon manages to recover some life at this point and turn over. Active and draw. In the raising phase, again, Demi Vmon moving into main, evolves into Vmon at 0 cost, 1 draw. So since Sylphimon managed to recover back to 4 security the previous turn and Peldramon currently only has 3 attackers, it doesn't look like they'll be able to finish the match this turn. But perhaps there is a way. Imperial Dramon Paladin Mode goes for the attack. As usual, because of Demi Vmon, once per turn, one draw, security check, but with jamming, Sylphimon with 7000, destroyed. 
Now the rookie Vmon with jamming does the same. Security check. In J Wumon with 6,000, destroyed. And now Frigimon with 4,000 DP and jamming. Security check again. Biomon with only 2,000 DP, destroyed. Now, although Sylphimon managed to heal a lot, they did so at the cost of giving a lot of memory to the opposing side. And now Frigimon, a champion Digimon, will evolve into Dino Beemon at 3 cost. 1, 2, 3, 1 draw. And I think you guys can tell what's coming next. Dino Beemon will untap itself now to Digivolve into Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode. Again, the cost is reduced by 2, so only 1, 2, 3, and 1 draw. And what happens now? All of your Digimon with jamming become active. Both dragons return online, and so does Femon. Because of the bottom uh, Imperial Dramon's Femon inheritable effect, one draw as well. The new Imperial Dramon attacks. Security check. And it is Kari, but coming in just a bit too late. With her security effect, she's now played without the cost. And now the original Imperial Dramon attacks. Sylphimon has no remaining security and no blockers on the field. It's a direct attack and the match is over. The winner, Peldramon.